Now that our Team Win Recovery project is downloaded, we can uh, jump into that directory and take a look at our files. They're there. Uh, notice this is much smaller than building for, uh, you know, full Android. And we see we have, you know, our device uh, uh, folders just like before. We uh, typically don't have a kernel folder because they tend to use a pre-built kernel for these. But uh, you know that that's uh, they can exist as well, and you can build those at the same time as well if you want. Uh, vendor files, uh, you know, if needed. But uh, most of the time, uh, you're just working with some very basic low-level material, so not a whole lot of vendor files. But sometimes you need them. Depends on the device and what you're trying to do. Um, which we've seen a lot of this when we've compiled, uh, you know, our various forms of Android as well. So here we are, we uh, start the same, build environment setup.shell. And notice that uh, these instructions are on here as well. Build environment.shell and then lunch omni device inge in MKA recovery. So um, what we see here, you know, with this lunch omni device, etc., etc., is you could just say uh, lunch. And if we just type lunch, we see that there's not a lot of options there. Uh, lunch, um, Omni, and we'll do, uh, let's say, the uh, find 7op dash inge. And it's going to be looking for it. It decides, hey, it can find it. All right, and it's going to download those and uh, download that material so then we have something to work with and um, it can kind of work from there. Uh, now your device, this of course only works if your device already has been built for uh, with a Team Win Recovery Project and so this is if you're just building something that's already been built. Uh, you know a more advanced uh, thing would be building twerp for the first time for your device uh, I'd recommend uh, checking out my video series on building a device tree from scratch. If you're looking to do something like that, you can do the exact same thing for building a uh, Team Win Recovery Project. And uh, actually, that's a really good way to start if you're building a device from scratch, is build that Team Win Recovery Project so you can actually have something to work with. Um, so yeah, it's just going to go through and, and download this material here. And uh, I'll go ahead and... Uh, pause the video while we let that download and then we'll pick back up when it's done. And that finished downloading but uh, did have a problem. It was looking for some vendor files so we need some vendor files for this MSM 8974 common. So let's take a look at how we would get those. Again I would jump on to uh, GitHub and look at uh, the Muppets. These guys are awesome. If we type Opo like that. We see vendor Opo. And we can jump back to 13.0 because that's what we're looking for. And we see we have this uh, 8974 common which is what we're looking for. So uh, two ways we could just clone and download put it in there or we can uh, grab it here and put it into our uh, repo manifest. So if we control H to show our hidden files jump into repo. Uh, we look at our local manifest and we look at our room service XML here. We're going to open this with gedit. And notice that these are all asking from OmniROM. So if we were going to do something that's not from OmniROM, we should check to make sure that GitHub is an option. And the remote of GitHub is in fact an option, so that's great. So what we can do is we just copy one of these blocks put it at the bottom here. We're going to uh, grab this right here. Everything after github.com, the Muppets proprietor vendor. Notice that I went to the, the base of it so we didn't have that whole tree thing. So we just copy that. Put that right in here. And where is that going to go? That's going to go in vendor and it's going to be OPPO, just like that. 
vendor OPPO. Pretty much just change any of these into forward slashes and you're usually good to go. The remote is going to be from GitHub and the branch in this case is going to be CM-13.0. So CM-13.0. We'll save that. We'll do a quick repo sync. And that'll download that for us. So again, I'm going to pause the video while that finishes downloading, then we'll come right back to what we're doing.